Welcome back in another Latilides tutorial. This is the third episode of Realistic Neon Effect in Adobe Illustrator. And today, I will show you how to create neon text like this. In the previous video, I showed how color dodge works. And in the second episode, I showed how this color dodge is used to create a neon effect on geometric shapes. And in this video I will show you how to use it in more complex shapes, such as creating neon text, like this. I made this neon text video apart from the previous episode, because the method I used in the second episode only works well, with geometric shapes. And the results look bad on more complex shapes. So that this neon effect can still be used on more complex shapes, I created it in another way. Without further ado, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. Here, I have prepared a new document, with RGB color mode. And as usual for the first step, is making a background as the base color. The way to create the background is the same as in the previous two episodes, so I speed up this section to shorten this video. Make a square following the artboard size, and give it a gradient color on the gradient panel. For the color, I use dark blue, dark orange, and dark pink. So, we will have the neon colors go blue, orange, and pink. You can copy the color code in the description if you want to try these three colors. Now we are done with the background. The first step is to make the text. Using a simple and bold rounded font is highly recommended. Here, I only have the Arial rounded mount bold font. It's better if you have a font that is bolder and has no angles. Set the fill to non and change the stroke to white so we can see it clearly. Actually, this font still has some corners, but it doesn't matter, we can fix it, because in the real world we know that neon has no corners. Right-click on the text, and create outline. Or, you can use expand in the object menu. Select all corners which have the same angle using, direct selection tool. Click and drag the corner widget that appears, when you select the anchor point. Adjust it, until the sharp corners are rounded. Select the rest of the corners which have the same angle. In this case the deepest corner of the letter E and adjust the roundness too. Now it's time to make the brush. But wait a minute, I almost forgot something. This is important. We have to make all of them not in one group. And make all these objects into one separate path. Including the two circles that make up the letter O so that the color dodge doesn't read it as a single object, but a separate object. Because color dodge doesn't blend overlapping objects, which are in one group. Color dodge only reads it as one object even though it contains many objects. Now we go back to making the neon. But let me to zoom out of the artboard to see it better. To make the brush, we only need two rectangles. Create the first box using the rectangle tool. Activate the rectangle tool on the toolbar and click wherever you want to place it. Fill the width and height by 20 by 20 pixels. For the second rectangle, with the same width. But for the height just make it one pixel. Select these two objects. Change the align mode to, align to key object. And align them, horizontally center, and, vertical center. The big rectangle in black and the small one in white. Then blend them with the blend tool. To make it a brush, you just have to open the brushes panel here, or in the window menu. Select the object that we created to be used as a brush, and click the new brush button. Or in another way, you can drag it into the brushes panel. After this new brush panel opens. Change the brush type to art brush, and click OK. For the art brush option, you can give it a name so you can easily recognize it. Make sure the brush scale options are at stretch to fit stroke length. For the direction just choose one of these two horizontal directions. It doesn't really matter for this brush. And the most important thing with this brush is. Make sure that the overlap is set to, do not adjust corners and laps. Why is this so important? Because we need this brush to follow the object line perfectly. Because if we choose, adjust corners and folds to prevent overlaps, then we will get a messy gradient, just like if we only use the blend tool. That's why we created this brush to solve the problem. 
so it's very important to choose, do not adjust corners and laps. Leave everything else by default and click OK. Now, the neon brush that we created is ready to use. It's very easy to use. You just need to select the object, and you can apply the brush to the object by selecting the neon brush that has been made in the control panel overview, over here. Or, you can just click the neon brush in the brushes panel. And this is it. Our neon brush has been applied to the object. Now we just need to change the blending mode to color dodge to get the neon effect. The advantage of this method compared to the method in the previous video is that we can easily adjust the size of the neon just by adjusting the size of the stroke. What do you think about this one? Now you can try it and experiment with any shape. But remember it has a rounded. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and turn on notifications for upcoming videos.